Hello, shrimp. Are you hungry? You want food? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. We have now finally made it to the weekend, and that means it is time to prep for the shop update. I feel like in the past, I was a lot better about prepping for the shop update. It wasn't like last minute, like how I've been doing it recently, but you know, here we are. I'm actually less anxious about this one though, because I just have to do a few new listings and then send out the newsletter. So not too bad today. I do have some just like general business shop things to maintain. So I did get a new package for more shipping supplies. So I need to go through that and then organize it. And then I also need to, <laughs> I need to check my Epson printer cause I got it back from the um, maintenance people. If you didn't know, I had to send it in cause it broke and I got it back sadly like a few weeks ago and I still haven't opened it cause I haven't had time. So I should really do that today so I can have it ready for printing out prints and stuff like that for the shop update. So I am gonna try to get some painting done either today or tomorrow if the shipping and everything goes fine and there aren't too many orders. Cause I have been feeling really inspired with spring. If you didn't see, I have some flowers in the back that I bought cause I've just been feeling, I don't know, feeling more alive again now that uh, winter's going away. So that's really nice. And yes, I really wanna paint floral still. I drew florals last weekend. I still want to do it this weekend. I think it's going to be a mellow weekend. Oh, I need to print out one of my new sticker sheets actually. So I redid that verb sticker sheet and have now adjusted it for my silhouette. And I do need to print them out and then take product photos for that. So I well, you should, should do that. Oh, and then I need to, need to also do the Instagram post. Okay, so there are a few things. The typical things. Well, I guess it's gonna be another day of just hanging out and prepping for the shop update. And um, it's overcast today, so maybe this won't be so difficult to edit later because when the lighting changes every five seconds, it's really hard to edit a nice video. <laughs> okay, let's get all that shop update stuff done as soon as possible so that we can actually do some drawing and painting and sketching or whatever, something fun and creative. Oh, I actually do want to show you the new prints I have coming for the shop update today. And I guess when this video comes out, it'll already be on my shop. Um, but I am really excited to finally be doing prints again because I had been doing them before, but then I don't know, stopped for some reason, but I brought them back. This one is actually an old one. I made this, I think almost a year ago and it was on my shop a while ago. And um, I don't know, I unlisted it but I have now brought it back and I actually really, really love this one. I wanted to do a whole series of like cats and botanical things, but my series stopped at one. <laughs> so this is a series of one. And then this one, I think I've already shared, but um, it's a square print of the This Is Fine Cat. So I don't know, I really, <laughs> I still really, really like this one. One of my favorites. And then this one, again, an old print, but it is the Burb Fest print. And originally I only had it available in the A5 size, but now I have it in the A4 size, so it can be even bigger. I have been playing around with the idea of doing even bigger poster sized ones. The problem is, is trying to figure out how to ship it. I don't know how to ship anything bigger than A4. It's not that I don't know how to, it's just shipping anything bigger than A4 is kind of a lot more uh, tiresome, unless I like roll it into a tube, but I don't know. If people like it when posters are rolled into tubes because I know it can be really hard to, oops, I know it can be really hard to like straighten them out again. So I would love to ship them flat, but I don't know if that's a possibility. Let me know if you guys don't mind uh, rolled up posters when you're getting them delivered. Um, and then we can play around with the idea of doing a giant burb fest poster. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get to work. Been spending the day prepping all the new stuff and cutting out stickers. Didn't really feel like showing you guys that because I feel like every video I'm just cutting stickers out and it's not really that exciting. Plus like the silhouette is so, so loud. It's just, it's really hard to film at the same time and talk to you guys. And I spend usually the entire day before the shop update writing uh, newsletters and cutting out the sticker sheets and stuff like that. So it's not really good for filming. Yeah, but cutting out stickers is so tiresome for me because my laptop is over there behind me, you can see over there. And then my silhouette is in front of me. And I know I can bring the laptop over and like work over here at the same time, which I'm probably going to do, but it's just so much running back and forth. Ugh. I really can't wait until we can find a new place that's a little bit bigger so I can have like a more set studio space. So I don't have to do so much running around and we can have like our living room back so that my stuff isn't everywhere all over the place. 
Alright, so I'm gonna be doing some more sticker printing and cutting and stuff like that. It's not going to be all that exciting today because of just the, the cutting and things. Hopefully we'll get some fun sketching in or something like that. Yeah, I'm just repeating myself now, but yeah. Oh, that reminds me, I need to get the Epson printer set up. Ugh, I don't know why I've been so lazy about doing that, but it's just, just need, I just need to do it. Ooh, actually, actually, before I go back to cutting more stickers, you can look at all the new packaging I got because it got delivered yesterday and I didn't have time to open the box because I wanted to open the box with you. So, actually, let's do that. I'm gonna open packaging. It's gonna be exciting because, you know, we all love packaging. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go get the box and we're gonna do some unboxing of some more packaging. Basically, unboxing boxes. hurts my body so much it's a combination of yeah getting old but also not doing absolutely like any exercise I haven't exercised at all oh my god like before we get to that is anyone else just starting to settle into their quarantine mode cuz <laughs> I for one have been getting uber uber lazy like eating a lot of junk food um, not exercising I've been wearing yoga pants almost every day. I feel like in a lot of my videos, I'm always just wearing the same thing because I am <laughs> always just like wearing the same thing. I just kind of rotate between my favorite sweaters and my favorite yoga pants and my favorite lazy clothes. Yeah. I can't really imagine going back to like not wearing yoga pants every day because it has been so long. It's basically been a year in quarantine now, right? Anyway, that was a little snippet. Uh, if you're relate, let me know because I don't want to feel alone in this. Now, let's open the box. I'm gonna move you, I think, to the ground so you can see a little bit better, because I think this is, yeah, this is really far away for you, so I'm gonna, gonna move you. Okay, is this a weird angle? It's a little bit of a weird angle, but we're gonna work with it. Um, I just need to find the knife to open this. So this is a bunch of just like resupplying on shipping supplies, because I wanted to upgrade to those packaging boxes um, rather than the bubble mailers that I have, even though I still had bubble mailers, but I want to switch over to the packaging that I like. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, didn't think the box was going to be this big though, but <gasps> oh, don't worry guys, I got a box in a box. You know what, let me scoot you back so you can see a little bit more. This is the best that we could do right now, guys. Oh, you're also really crooked. Let me let me fix you. Let me fix you. Is that better? Okay. So I got new packaging things. And these are supposed to be a little bit bigger than my old ones. Now you're too far away. No, there's no, there's actually no winning with this, uh, with this camera, I think. Okay, but as you can see, uh, new, new boxes. These ones are a little bit bigger than my old ones. My old ones were slightly too small to put in A6, like, prints and stuff like that. So I wanted to upgrade it to be a little bit bigger so it's easier for me to basically ship the notepads and any postcards and stuff like that. We'll be changing to this one, which is just like, really like one centimeter bigger, I think. I actually think that box behind me though is filled with these. Yes, it is a box filled with flattened boxes. So <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and just order a lot of them at the same time, cause you know, saving it on the shipping fees and stuff like that. Uh, guys, I really, really want to have a room for my like studio 
and so that my stuff isn't all over the living room. Like we live in a very small apartment and like I, I just feel bad that my stuff is everywhere. Things have just been so cluttered and at least my partner is so understanding and loving and he says it doesn't really bother him. I would just really love it if all of my crap was just in one room so that we didn't have to look at it when we were in other rooms. I wish I was a more organized person. This would make it a lot easier. One of the things I would really love to do is put shelves up, but our walls just can't do that. Plus it's like a rental and I don't, I don't really want to make holes in the walls on accident. Uh, but if you guys just have any tips on anything at all, please let me know. I will take anything. This box full of boxes. Okay, I need to tie these up so they're easy to move around. It's all loose right now, so. All right, let's see what we can do. So I have talked about this before about getting a newsletter sent out to your subscribers and yeah basically setting up a newsletter so that you don't have to rely on social media to connect with anybody who's interested in your work and I have been doing that and I'm very happy to say that I am over 2,000 subscribers now but the problem is is that I can no longer use MailChimp for free so it was free up to 2,000 subscribers and I have just barely passed that amount so I need to figure out what to do about that because once you go over 2,000 subscribers you have to pay $30 a month to send out out mail via MailChimp and that's a lot of money to go from 0 to 30. Previously I was using Klaviyo and Klaviyo was free up to a thousand subscribers and then once I hit a thousand I had switched over to MailChimp because then it was free up to 2,000 but now that I have passed 2,000 neither are free. And I did look at Klaviyo to see if it was going to be cheaper if I went back but apparently it would cost me $60 as opposed to $30. So trying to navigate that uh, expense. I did look at Shopify's newsletter campaign thing and it seems way cheaper actually. I think it's 2,500 free mails a month and then one dollar for every additional thousand that you want to send. And that's of course way cheaper than either Klaviyo or MailChimp but of course you have to have a Shopify account which you're already paying for to have access to that. Yeah so I'm probably just gonna use Shopify and I need to go ahead and prepare for that because I think the shop updates just in a couple of hours and I haven't finished the newsletter yet. But I did just wanna throw this out there and just give you guys like a little update of what things are going on and of course all these little small business growing pain things that I'm experiencing because I had no idea that I would have to be dealing with how to send newsletters and I didn't know when I was first starting out that you'd have to pay once you got over a certain threshold. So things you don't think about, the things you learn along the way. All right, I'm gonna stop talking with you and get that newsletter out because that is actually time sensitive. Okay, I have now finished the newsletter and the really nice thing about Shopify is that you don't have to pay to schedule the posts. So even with MailChimp, even though you could send 2,000 emails a month for free, you weren't able to actually schedule those emails. You would have to be there and then hit the send button. That's just like not very convenient. So the nice thing about Shopify is I don't have to pay for that extra thing. I can actually just go ahead and schedule it without having to pay it too much extra. So I had to send an additional 500 emails this month because I basically did two shop updates this month. So for those additional 500 I had to send, I only had to pay 50 cents. That's very, very nice. Thank you Shopify. Um, what else to do? I feel like this happens every week, guys, when I'm saying like, hey, I was preparing for a shop update. It's always like the same five things that I'm doing. And it's always so last minute these days because I don't have any time to do anything. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting whiny because I thought that I wasn't going to get that pre-shop update panic like I usually do because it was, uh, I was hoping that because it was a smaller shop update, I wouldn't get that. But I was wrong because I'm getting that. All right. Oh man, I did something super dumb. I probably changed the title and the description of what the email was. So it has, 
an old title and an old description from a previous update I did. At least the content is correct, but the title is not correct. I just sent that to over a thousand people. I'm sorry guys, I'm only human. If you got that weird email, I apologize. <sighs> I'm so proud of myself because I basically finished packing all of the orders tonight. Today's shop update was a lot smaller than usual, so that means that there are a few orders that came in, but fewer orders also means that I don't have to spend as much time packing and shipping stuff. <sighs> That's super, super nice. I mean, it is really late right now. It's like 3 a.m. Totally lost track of time. And yeah, suddenly it's the middle of the night and we need to be up in like, Okay, not that early, but we do need to be up early-ish tomorrow because we're gonna be looking at some new apartments and stuff, so uh, it's gonna be a really long day. But hopefully I get some time in the evening then to do some drawing stuff. Also, I forgot that I had this hat on. I've apparently had this hat on all evening, but it's been really cold in here and it's been keeping me warm and I really love the hat. Okay, good night guys, I'll see you tomorrow. So we were just out uh, looking at some apartments and now we're back here. And so now I think it's time to go ahead and do some drawing stuff. We are definitely into spring and into spring weather and florals and flowers and all the wonderful things. And I can see the flowers that I bought over there and they're actually doing really well except for the rose. For some reason the rose didn't even open up and it's already dying. But the other flowers are doing pretty well. I think we've had them for about a week now and that's kind of nice because I usually buy tulips and tulips usually die within a week. <laughs> I'm actually gonna bring those flowers over here because I do like having them around. It's a little bit inspiring to have, especially when you're painting spring things. Um, yes. <sighs> That's enough talking. Let's go. <laughs> I just realized, I just realized I said that I was going to check the Epson printer and I still haven't done it. So, this is a book that I really like and I was really into florals or drawing florals until I think like a few years ago and I bought this book in I think a botanical garden in Amsterdam or something like that. I was having a really bad artist spot for a long time and when I went to this uh, botanical garden in Amsterdam I felt actually really inspired for the first time in like a year and I ended up buying this book and another book which kind of just shows like just very I don't know is this focusing? It just kind of shows flowers <laughs> in different styles or being drawn in different styles and I find it really inspiring to see how the same kind of thing can be drawn in multiple ways. I don't know, I just kind of want to share it because I, I like looking at this book when I'm drawing flowers and stuff like that. It gives me lots of really nice ideas. Uh, I'm gonna be using this. Um, not really exactly sure what I'll be painting today. <sighs> I think I may have shown these previously. Uh, but there are some sketches that I was thinking about for my Patreon rewards, possibly in April. Hopefully we'll come out of this little drawing session with some uh, fun stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and then move the camera on top of here so it's pointing down and paint a little bit. So that kind of wrapped up this vlog. It's been a long week and I just really want to say thank you to everyone who bought something from the shop update it always means so much to me and also it was just my birthday and I also wanted to just thank everyone for the wonderful birthday wishes I feel like in the past year so much has changed and at the same time I've grown so much I decided to grow and really focus on my art business I started my YouTube channel I made my first YouTube video <laughs> it was super awkward I started patreon I met tons of amazing artists and other small business owners. I had changed jobs. I moved in with my partner. My cats passed away, both of them. And we adopted a new cat. I got a new little shrimp in my life. I've just learned so much and it's really been a growing year for me, <laughs> even though I've hardly left my apartment. But I'm happy with where I am now, and yeah, it's just really interesting to reflect on the past year. I don't really know if I have any words of wisdom or anything special to close this out with, but I just really want to say thank you so much for all of your amazing support, and I wouldn't be here without you. 
So just thank you. <laughs>